Hello and welcome to Cloud Insider's Tech Focus, where we talk about tools, tips and tricks to make your life in the cloud easier. I'm joined today by extroverts Curtis Brown and we're talking about VMware's OS optimization tool. Hi Curtis. Hi. So, what is it and what does it do? It's an old chestnut, it's been doing the rounds for a long while. It's from uh, uh, VMware's Flings collection, which is technically speaking unsupported tools, but they're useful um, during implementation. Um, of various projects of all sorts of different uh, nature. In the case of the optimization tool, what it's for is okay, so you're deploying a nice shiny uh, VMware uh, based or potentially any other, I should be agnostic, um, virtual desktop solution. And you've put your nice shiny Windows image that you're going to be publishing out to your uh, out to the masses. Um, but the whole point of VDI um, is to make it as efficient and optimal as possible, and of course make it a nice experience. So the optimization tool allows you to streamline that op that desktop operating system uh, for deployment. Um, Windows is optimized predominantly for hardware, albeit it's better behaving than it used to be. So the idea is what it will do is it'll when you run the tool, it'll do a scan of the installation you've got there. Uh, based upon uh, a set of uh, templates that are built into the tool, you compare it to those templates, and you can then select or deselect um, options within there, and then hit apply, and it will then streamline your, optim uh, your uh, operating system installation so you have, have a nice, lean, fast operating template. And you can roll that out as many times as you like. Well, once you've got that template, yeah, um, you can then spin that out um, depending on what your VDI solution is. We'll safely say VMware Horizon, for example. Oh, Funnily enough, yeah. <laughs> and um, so you have an optimized linked clone or uh, composer, uh, well, inst instant, instant clone around that where you can just stamp that out as many times as you want. Perfect. Um, so, you've mentioned Horizon, and so why do you use it? Because I know you're quite a Horizon fan. Why do I use it? It's because I'm inherently lazy. Um, why would I want to go through all these Windows settings and document them when I have a tool that will do it for me? Um, and it'll do a far better job in a lot of cases, because I'm a human, I will miss things. Um, the tool in, the tool itself will go it goes into a lot of detail there's a set of templates in there for various operating systems and there are some third party ones that you can add to it so NSI Logic do one for example the, they do a lot of performance te testing tools as well and they have a template that you can integrate into the, into the uh, uh, OS optimization tool that's their flavour their take on um, streamlining mm. so yeah there's some pretty good stuff out there um, to the point where uh, it's the shades of grey with it, and they, they do allow you. Uh, yes, there's a template and give you the optimal configuration, but your users will probably complain that when their nice aero funky interface has disappeared, or they they don't get the nice transitions and so forth. So there are certain things that uh, you, as a as a, an architect or consultant, will want to switch on and off. Um, depending on what the user experience would be. Otherwise, you will have a very, very fast experience, but it will look a little bit crude if you leave it at the, defa at the default, if apply everything. Okay, so knowing your audience, so oh, you're not plunging yeah. into the darkness. It's that whole um, requirement stuff. If you know that you're talking about people who are only lot in life is you will open a spreadsheet and do this, um, or you're on a particularly crude application that doesn't do very much and you don't care about a nice graphical interface, then yeah, optimize the hell out of it. Um, but it can break some applications. Certain applications do require certain features after all. So occasionally you might find, that, well, okay, I know that I need this particular Windows service that runs in the background. The optimization tool may recommend that that's switched off. Hmm. So you have to make sure that that's not switched off. So that's where the manual going through. It's not simply a case of blindly using it. Take a bit of a common sense approach. Yeah. So you, I'm guessing the fact that you're here, you're using it quite a lot. Have you got any favorite features that jump out at you? Something you couldn't live without? Uh, well, for the most part, the biggest one is um, from the point of view of, I'll look at it and I'll think, well, okay, I as a user, what do I want to see? What do I want to point and click? Do I want the nice shiny arrow interface? And this is the sort of thing I'll often, I'll sometimes discuss with a customer. What do their end users? What is acceptable to an end user? Um, if they're using, um, if they're using old Windows XP desktops and they're moving to Windows 10, 
then Aero interface means nothing to them. So you can turn off a lot of those nice shiny transparencies because they ain't going to miss them. But they'll get a performance boost out of it. But equally, they might, well, we need to show some glamour, we need to show some glitz, therefore we need that desktop ex experience. So we might need those on. And it's that, that graph, it's a nice, friendly, easy to use interface. There's lots of menus in there, sure, but it is fairly easy point and click. There's no complex configuration. It's just drop it in there, run it, and then select the right profile and off you go. So there's not any discrete individual feature in there that I say I must have. The tool itself is a pretty useful kit in the armory. Yeah, cool. Uh, so is there anything else out, like this out there or is this you know one of a kind and um, pretty there are tools that will show you performance and so forth but there's not a lot I mean there is probably some third-party tools for optimization um, that you can get that do pieces of the puzzle but they're not specifically geared for a VDI environment um, there are some um, uh, products that again do say kids gaming machines those sort of things optimizing the registry and so forth but this is specifically viewed for a more enterprise environment uh, for, for more of a, a virtual desktop realm yeah so it's pretty much the only major player in that sense and of course it's free which is always attractive <laughs> <laughs> we do like free it's yeah free is always good so you said earlier that it's come out of one of the VMware flings yeah Pardon my ignorance, what's a fling? <laughs> a fling, where it's, it's essentially uh, VMware have a website where they play, where they have a collection of tools that have been developed in-house. Some of them are precursors to um, features that are then built into products later on. Others are evolving um, uh, add-on uh, components like this that just evolve in the fling uh, environment. Good example there is um, the vCenter Appliances HTML5 interface. They, develop, they, they have a formal release as part of the vCenter Appliance every time it gets upgrade, upgraded, but there's a separate incremental, um, separate appliance which just has the HTML5 interface in there, and that's got all the intermittent, uh, the yeah. intermediate sort of releases, so all the development goes on in there, and it sits alongside. So you can do some pretty good stuff with that. Uh, th and that's just the name of one tool. There's a lot of stuff in there. It's quite quite a useful little uh, ch tool chest. Yeah, because not everything that comes out of Fling is made official or anything like that. Yeah, some of them aren't even recommended, but this one is, right? This one is. Um, there, are, It's not officially supported as on anything. There's a big disclaimer on, on practically all the Flings that they're not. there's no official support. It's all best endeavors, but it is nonetheless um, a go-to tool. There are some others in there as well uh, that are of uh, use in all sorts of different are arenas, but um, this is the one for uh, the, the highlight tool for an EUC project. Cool. And you said like specifically you use it with Horizon View and stuff like that. Yeah. Is it for all versions of Horizon View and can it be used with anything else? Yeah, like it's been working around for years and there's no reason why you couldn't use it in other solutions for the simple reason that um, the end of the day it's not about optimizing necessarily view it's about optimizing the virtual desktop mm. so you could use it for example in a citrix environment though one thing it does do is it does look at some of the optimal features that are specific to view in the sense of it'll look at optimizing uh, the horizon agent for example um, and those sort of things cool um, so if someone wanted to go out and get it is it just google it and <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, in fact, if you punch in uh, VMware OS optimization tool, you'll probably get it at the top of the list um, because it's been around a little while now. Cool. Uh, have you any final thoughts? Anything you'd like to add? No, it's, I think it's it's well worth considering. Uh, I see a fair few VDI installations that um, could probably be optimized a little bit better in terms of getting that density in there. And one part of getting that density out of an estate is optimizing that image, taking out the unnecessary cruft. It's amazing how many people do a template and forget to delete a directory that's got a load of uh, binaries that have stuck in there while they were building the image. Uh, making them as lean as possible is well worth the effort. And it's the optimization tool is one part of that. Um, there's obviously uh, making sure it's patched, but then deleting any temporary files and things, those sort of aspects that are part and parcel of taking that image. Don't just simply assume that you can take your corporate image, drop it into, um, into a VMware view estate and assume it will work optimally. It's, VDI is a different realm to physical and uh, that's something that's often understated. And that's an agnostic point, nothing specific to VMware Horizon. It applies to all VDI. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Um, if anyone would like to contact you about, you know, anything really, but if they'd like to chat to you about the OS optimization tool, how could they get hold of you? Well, uh, uh, you can get hold of me on uh, Twitter uh, at Curtis Brown One. Um, smoke signals. Um, <laughs> I may respond. Well, Curtis Brown, thank you very much for joining us. No problem at all. Thank you for listening to this episode of Cloud Insiders. To find out more and to listen to additional episodes, go to cloudinsiders.fm. You can follow us on Twitter at Cloud Insiders and subscribe on iTunes. Catch you.